Hello and welcome to today's Streamly tutorial. Today we are going to scrape a website and it's about quotes. So we're going to list the quotes here based on a theme. For example, if I choose by life here, you will see that a change. And if I choose some other theme like books, now you can see that I have some other quotes about different things. Now the fun part is actually that I can also generate a CSV if I click on this. So let me show you. Now this is the directory and there are no CSV files here. So if I go back, what was that? And if I press on generate, look at this. It is better to be hated by Andre Gide. Now if I generate this and if I go back to the directory, now we have this CSV file and I can open it and you can see how cool quotes are here. Then we have the authors and we also have the links. This is awesome. So this is also very simple. Uh, we are going to use this website called quotes.toscrape. So this is also very legal to scrape.com. And uh, this is the website basically. So you can choose the themes here like inspirational and then you have these and uh, yeah different themes and topics here so we're going to do that now in order to get started we should go to open our visual studio code okay i have this file st.py in this directory and let me just get rid of this quotes oh because it's open so i need to close it now we try okay it's gone now so this file st.py <clears throat> and what I need to do is to um, go to my terminal. Uh, let me shut this down because it was open. So uh, I have this, I'm inside this folder Hacker News and we need to install a couple of things. The first one is a streamlet. So pip install in install uh, streamlet and I press enter and for me requirements are already satisfied so I don't need to do anything else now the next thing we need to do is also pip install request library pip install requests because we are going to send some requests to that URL and get some response and also the last thing is pip install beautiful soup for and beautiful soup 4 is used for um, like uh, scraping, web scraping. And oh, we also need pandas actually. So pip install pandas as well. Pandas would be for turning things into a CSV. Okay, now that we, we've installed all of them, let's import them here. So I need to import streamlet as ST, so this is just a nickname or an alias that we give it so that we use ST then instead of stream that this is longer. Then import uh, also pandas as PD. So pandas is for data analysis normally, but you use it now for turning things or data frames into CSV. And what else do we need? Uh, import also requests and so request panda streamlet and all oh, beautiful soup. So import uh, B no, from BS4 actually from BS4 import beautiful soup uppercase B uppercase S. Okay, so we have imported these. Now uh, let's start. I have a full tutorial, by the way, on Streamlet and how to lay out web pages. So you can refer to that if you don't know how I'm laying out these things. Okay. Now to in order to start a Streamlet and start a server, so what we need to do is inside our folder, we need to type in Streamlet in the terminal. Stream. What was that? So Streamlet and run and then the name of the file which for me is st.py this is st.py and it will try to generate a server like at this place and it will open it up itself this is an empty or blank page made with a streamlet here and there is settings options here you can see you can change 
the theme from dark to light i want to keep it at dark and wide mode and run on save i'm going to choose this because whenever i save my source code i want the changes to be visible as well okay now uh what else so let's start by laying out now what i want is uh, well we had this here actually <clears throat> was a um what is it like a select box it was a box uh, that you could select some options from so for that we can have a select box like st like streamlet select box so this is an, a method that gives us a box that you can select some items from and inside that we just need a label like choose a topic for instance and the next argument is going to be those lists the list of all those items so it would be love for instance it would be humor um, life and the last one let's say books books now if i save this and go back to the browser you sh should see the select box here super cool i can choose these things from awesome but then we need to save this somewhere that is whatever user chooses it needs to be saved somewhere so that we use it later so we are going to give it a variable name like tag and this is going to be saved in tag so whatever the user chooses will be saved in tag but why am i going to uh, what am i going to use it for so if we go back to our um quotes to scrape you can see that here if i choose love for instance up here you can see we have quotes to scrape.com forward slash tag forward slash love so we are going to insert whatever the user gives us at the end that is here so i'm going to copy this and go back and create another variable call it url now and the url is going to be um, this string but we need to change the love to whatever the user chooses right that is why i need an f string so that i choose i use a variable here inside curly braces and what is the variable name tag that is whatever the user chooses will be inserted here and it will work perfectly well now if i wanted to see how, what url is uh, it is so i can uh let me see for example humor i want this url to print it here i can simply say st.write this is another method that streamlet gives us and just url now if i save and go back you see so whatever i choose like books you would see that tag for slash books humor tag for slash humor so now we have access to this web page whatever the user chooses nice so what we can do now <clears throat> uh, we need to um, now send a request to this page to get some response back so now let's start by sending some requests because we are trying to grab these contents as well right so for that let me get rid of this url here we need to send a request to get a response and just call it I'm gonna call it res for response and we are going to send a request by requests dot get so we are sending a request to get what to get a url to get a response from the url which url this url and what is the response going to be let's print this out st dot write uh, res now let's see if i save this and if i go back here i get this response 200 it means it was successful so what about life again 200 so it's a successful response that is our request has been granted now we have access to the resources or whatever there is on the website but we do not yet uh, get the content so for that we need to be more specific how specific you may ask well we need to let me get rid of this 
we need to use a beautiful soup now. So let's create a variable called content just to get access to the contents of that web page. And we are going to use beautiful soup class to create that object. And that's going to be rest and the response that we got dot content. So this is what beautiful soup gives us the dot content that is to grab the contents of that response. And now the next argument is going to be because it's an HTML page. So HTML dot parser. We need that as well. So now we have actually the content, the HTML content of that page. And what is this content going to be now? Let's check out again by writing st.code this time. I want it to be in the shape of format of code that's nicer. And let's just pass in content here. Now, if I save this, let's see what this content is that we got. Look at this awesome HTML document. So this is basically the content that Beautiful Soup gave us from that address. You can see all this is basically here. Like if I inspect it, I can see the same here, HTML type, right? So now we have access to the, all the content of this page, but I do not need this stuff or this information. What I'm interested in is these quotes. Where are these quotes located? So let's see. Uh, so let's see. Okay, so inside this one, there must be something like, uh, oh, here, look, when I go over them, you can see that on the left, it is highlighted, you see? So all these quotes are, you see, inside a div with the class of quote. So what we need to do, now that we have access to all the content, we are going through every quote one by one. We are grabbing, first of all, all the quotes. We are finding all the quotes and then going through them one by one like this. And then once we go through one, for instance, we can find the text that is the quote itself. We can also find the author, which has the tag small. Okay, now let's first of all, let's find all the quotes. Remember div with the class of quote. Okay, how am I going to <clears throat> do that? Now, uh, let me get rid of this part here. So let's create another variable called quotes and that quote is going to be inside the content that we just got and I just showed you. We want the beautiful suit to find all, not fin, but find all divs. So div with a class underscore with a class of quote. So find all means find all instances of div with this class. I remember there is an underscore because this is not a Python class. It's a CSS class and quote. So remember again, we are looking for divs with a class of quote. Why? Because all the quotes are basically inside these. So we're finding all of them now. And now that we have access to all, we are going through one, <clears throat> through each of them one by one. So what we do here is down below, we're going to use a for loop to go through each. So we say for quote, like single quote in quotes that we just found these for all of them, for every individual quote in quotes, we're going to have what a text, right? So look inside this, we had this text, which is basically the quote itself inside a span tag with a class of text. So let's just call it text. A span tag with a class of text now. So text equals quote, that single quote, dot, at this time we use find because there is one instance. And it was a span tag, if you remember. And it had a class of text, right? So we have access to that text now. Next thing is the author. 
where is the author? The author here, Andre, is inside a small tag with a class of author. Easy. So let's also create a variable again, and it's going to be, of course, quote, find again. It was again a small actually tag, not a span tag, and the class was called author. Simple. And the last one is the link. Where is the link? This is actually the link which should be added to the URL to this part. So we and fortunately there is only one a tag here in this quote. So we target a tag. Let's call it link and link is going to equal quote dot find and it's an a tag. That's it. So you have access to these three basically. Now let's just try to uh, print them on the screen to see what we get. So I'm going to use st dot uh, success, which gives me a, a green kind of background kind of thing, and put the text there. I'm going to have an st dot just write very simple to put the author there and the last one st again that well maybe text or code and put the link in there but these are not the contents of the no I'm going to show you what I mean so if I save this and if I go back here so we have these issues we're going to deal with them anyways now the most important thing to know is that uh, that this one here you can see that we also have the tag itself and not just the content but I want the content not the tag so what I can do is to go back and add an attribute to these dot text and this will give me the text inside the tags and also for the author as well now if I save this and go back now you can see it's solved so I have the quote I have the author and I have an a tag but I want only the href part and actually an href part added to this base URL right so if I uh, let me show you what I mean so if I copy this part and add it like oops add it like uh, here to this you see and if I press enter it gives me this it gives me the some information about the author so I need to grab whatever there is inside the tag this one and add it to the base URL so let's deal with that and uh, how do I do that? Well, inside the link here, I don't want all the link, the a tag, I want the href. So I use this uh, square bracket dot uh, quotes href, and this will give me only the href. And if I go back, you will see that now I have only this part, which I should add to the base URL, to this URL, basically. So let's just copy this and let's here and uh, let's um, use an f string and let's close it off here and why an f string because I'm going to put these inside curly braces as variables and adding this here without that uh, forward slash now if I save this if I go back you see now we have the full uh, link now okay this is much <clears throat> much better now all right so now that we have this uh, let's create it as a link so that when someone clicks on Jane Austen for instance goes to this page so for that I need to create a markup uh, sorry markdown actually and uh, let's just use it yeah use this one here so let's just say markdown and what I mean is I'm going to add some HTML tags here, some A tags. 
So for that, let's create again an F string. And it's going to be an A tag. So A, what is the A href going to be? The A href is going to be this link, right? Whatever it is. So I'm going to grab this all and put it inside single quotes this time. So this is the href. And let's close the single quote here. Um, yeah, this is a bit uh, weird. So, hmm. Actually, I don't need these. Anyways, why would I need these? Yeah, so this should work just fine without them. Yeah, like this HTTPS. And uh, so this is the A tag. Let's also close it here. And inside it, let's put our author so that whenever someone clicks on it, it takes her them to this page. And now that we've done that, uh, we do need to another thing after these codes, we need to let beautiful um, uh, streamlit know that this is okay to do this. So because they don't allow normally HTML, so I'm going to set this to true unsafe allow HTML set to true. And let me get rid of this code as well. And if I save this and go back, I should see this awesome now. So if I let's say open it in new link, you see Jane Austen here. And this works perfect. Okay, so we've done the important part. Now let's get to uh, the, the CSV thing. So in order to make it easier for us to work with CSV, let's create an empty list here. Let's call it quote underscore file. It's going to be a, a both simple empty list here. And I'm going to add these, this information text author link to it. So down below, I'm going to say quote underscore file dot append. And I'm going to add those pieces of information as a list. So text um, author and link. So they will be added to this, like one list after the other. And these are going to be basically the columns and the rows of my CSV file. So now that I have this as well, we get out of this for loop. And let's also create a button here somewhere like here. Let's create a button to generate CSV. Let's call it uh, uh, generate equals um, st dot button. And uh, yeah, generate CSV, something like that. If I save this, and if I go back, you see now I have this generate CSV here. And um, but I don't want the CSV to work unless someone clicks on it, right? So I'm going to put everything here down below with the condition that if, if generate, that is if someone clicks on generate, do something. So what should they do about it? Well, let's have some try and accept. Let's say try this, and if it fails, well, let's say accept, I don't know, oops, except this and except uh, st that um, right, I don't know, something like loading, loading, something like that, and try this. So this is going to be the code actually. So we are going to create a data frame. A data frame is in like a table in Python, in, in pandas, that is something like a CSV file. And in order to create data frame, we need to use the pandas library that we imported up there, pd dot data frame. So we're creating data frame out of quote file out of this list of items that we have of the author link and and, uh, and text. So let's put it here quote dot underscore file. So now we're creating, oops, it should be indented. We're creating a data frame out of all these lists of text, author and links. 
so basically out of these so these are all going to be inside a, uh, a data frame and we are turning that data frame into a csv by just simply saying df dot to dash csv and give it a name i'm going to give it this name of quotes dot csv let's see if we don't have it here yet okay we don't have anything so and we need to do several more things like we, we need to get rid of the indexing because the indexing would be one zero one two three i don't want that and then let's give it a header as well so that we know what each column is about and that header is going to con contain uh, like quote column which is the first one basically for the text and then for the author we need to have another one called author and for the last one let's have just link so now we have three uh, columns and also of course three here as well corresponding to each and mm, that should be it i guess yeah so let's save this still you don't see anything now and here as well we don't have anything here so if i go here and uh, let's just choose love for instance oh that's too much life yeah oh i want to just choose something which is short actually all right now let's generate csv if i click on this nothing changes here but if we go back to our directory now we see a quote that csv generated up here awesome so that is so cool but the issue is with this link as well we need to fix this and also this stuff is the result of some bad encoding i'm going to fix this as well so let's go back no let's delete this and let's see what the issue was so here instead of just link let's put href so we need the href of the files of the links and also for the encoding um like here yeah let's add an encoding encoding of apparently for me utf dash a doesn't work well so i'm going to use a cp cp12 uh, 52 so if i save this one still no csv here so let's just go back and create one generate one now we should have one here let's open it and all good all good awesome look at this beautiful beautiful okay so you can you can see that now we have this header column author link quotes here uh, authors here links here very easy so that was it for today's uh, video if you like it please leave a like or subscribe or comment thank you very much for watching and listening